Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I can make an SDR, uh, which is going to actually detect multiple frequency channel. Uh, so basically what we're trying to do in this uh, a simple tutorial is to develop a system uh, that will allow me to detect multiple frequencies uh, using your software defined radio. So of course, I'm using a software defined radio, which is called Hack RF, which is connected to my laptop right now. And for that, I'm using a favorite Linux distribution, which is known as Dragon OS Focal. Uh, so simply go in, go in here, and go in and go to others. And there is a tool called Hack RF Spectrum Analyzer. This is the tool that we would like to use. If you ls into this folder, uh, there is a script called Hack RF underscore sweep underscore Spectrum Analyzer. Uh, just simply run this. And it will open a GUI. So this is basically a way you can detect like multiple frequencies using a simple tool that is available in GNU Radio. If you probably don't have a uh, Dragon OS Focal and then you're trying to use Linux and then trying to download this, this would you know, generally takes uh, some time, at least for me. But with Dragon OS, you can just simply download ISO because I don't run it on my computer. I don't have it as a as a double booted system. I just use my live USB or an SSD drive that I just simply connect to my laptop and I just use it and I don't need to worry about let's say if I'm working on something that is not working and then I'm compiling some extra things that's a different story but for demo purposes this works perfectly fine and the cool thing about what you're looking at uh, it allows you to actually detect multiple frequency channels that you can define it you can actually visualize this because I was earlier I was trying to write a Python script for it. It generally takes some time. I was taking some help from internet, but it wasn't working and things like that. But here you can actually visualize this. So right now, if you were to look at it, I am monitoring from 2400 all the way up to 2500 megahertz. So that is about your GSM band. Uh, sorry, uh, Wi-Fi. Let's say you want to look at... Uh, from 8800 megahertz which is your fm so let's say you want to make a system that looks at fm signals so just simply go in here on your gui change this to 8800 megahertz and go in and change this to 108 megahertz hold on a second and here we go uh, you're good to go now you're looking at everything that is i can improve the gain let me increase the gain a little bit so you can see the signals better. And you can almost see just about anything that you want to look at. Let me increase the gain. Let me change this to 1016. Increase the bin size, FFT bin size, or let me decrease the bin size and so on. There we go. So it depends. So what is it that you want to look at and and this is how you actually automate this system. So you have a GUI that is working there. So right now we are looking at GSM. We can also do the same thing for other frequency band as well. So for example, I want to look at GSM 900. So I can go in from 925. And these frequencies are generally available to you online. And you can simply Google them. And let's say you want to do a scan from 925 all the way up to up till 960. So you want to look at 960. Just simply change this frequency, 960. Here we go, here we go, and change this. So right now you're looking at a spectrum that is going from 925 all the way up to 960. Basically you're looking at GSM signal. Let's say you want to look at 3G. So that is somewhere around 1920 all the way up to 2170 and 2170 so 1920 to about 2170 so you're looking at about your 4g and 3g simultaneously working around this frequency range let's say you want to observe frequency of wi-fi 5.8 gigahertz that is working from 5725 so let's go to 5725 Let's go 5725 all the way up to 5850. 
five zero. So boom. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me just change this. So five seven two zero all the way up to five eight five zero. So this is what you're looking at when you're looking at your Wi-Fi signal at five G. So in this way, you can actually make a system and easily make a system where you can look at the waterfall graph at the same time as spectrum by just changing the frequency value. And let's say you want to look at an entire spectrum. I don't know. You want to look at, let's say, from 20 megahertz all the way up to 5850. You can also do that as well. So you have all of these signals. So you're looking at an entire spectrum. So it's a, it's a, it's a very good application that is there for Hack RF, which allows you to actually see the entire spectrum all the way from 20 megahertz all the way up to 580 megahertz. And then you can individually tune into the different frequency bands and you can just look at those frequency bands. So this is an amazing tool, guys. Uh, if you have your Hack RF, which is probably the cheapest uh, thing that you can think of when it comes to SDR. So might as well just use it and uh, and explore these uh, multiple frequencies that are that are there in the air. So I hope you like the small tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.